Hey guys, Ziri11 here, and today we have a 9 package mail day. This is the most mail I, th I believe I have um, compiled uh, to make a video. 9 packages now. The first one here I actually did open up. I should put, you know, put these to a side before I uh, already did. <laughs> Mess up my background, but um, this one, it was kind of weird because... Um, the seller like taped the bottom and I've done that recently so I thought it was a return for a second but it's not they're just cheap like I am <laughs> but um first card we got here in the mail we got some freebies here too oh that's pretty cool cool freebie this uh, Marty Boat Air card that's actually cool I'm gonna keep that one gold label from Tops, and we got some Adrome McGinla from Vanguard it feels really cool so yeah, that's that's a keeper. But the main card right here <laughs> is this uh, Tomas Cabriolet um, autograph from Be a Player, I believe. Be a Player. ITG, no, no, it's from ITG, whatever this is, from the early two thousands. But yeah, Tomas Cabriolet, first card. All right, next one. Okay, I'll save that one. Because there's one here, I know what it is. The rest of these, I'm going in quite blind. Okay, here's the next one. That was easy, though. <laughs> Holy crap, last time I cut myself. But, um, here's one. I actually had two Kadri base young guns, and I made a big mistake and got rid of both. I thought I had, uh, still would have one remaining, but I didn't. So I said, why not uh, get the retro young guns? And here it is. The 20th anniversary, these came out 2010-11. Um, these probably paved the way for canvas cards because they had the same odds and everything. But yeah, 20th anniversary. Alright, next up. I'll try to do this in a quick fashion as possible. Let's go. There we go. Holy crap, this, this is going well. <laughs> Amazing. I haven't cut myself yet. Okay. Wait. Hold on to that thought. Okay, scissors have to come out. This uh, team bag ain't. Oh man, it's really taped here. Okay, there we go. Decoy. And here's a nice one. We got a 8-9 SP Authentic Future Watch of um, Alex Petrangelo. I just realized I had that thing on in the background. That's kind of unfortunate. But we got an Alex Petrangelo Future Watch Autograph. Make sure it doesn't go back on. Okay. Next up. Rip right through it, and we have in a just a bizarre case here. Just a <clears throat> I don't know what what type of, this is either it's really old or it's just like that. But we got a premier chirography number to 75 of Jonathan Huberto. Pretty nice card. I li really like the chirography cards. I have a Patrick Kane similar. This is just a regular chirography. Okay, next package. We're getting on to the smaller packages here. Oh crap. Uh oh. Packaging within packaging. I might be in trouble here. Don't cut yourself. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, here it is. I don't know. See, I'm kind of going in blind because I bought these like a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay, here we go. This is a nice one. Got some painter's tape here. But there we go. That's enough to show the card. It's another chirography to go along with the premiere. This one's SP chirography number to 50 from 1112. That one's from 1314 Huberto. But this is 1112 of Nicholas Backstrom. Now, looking at his autograph, I'm trying to like. What does that even say? It's like. Were. Penuma or something? Like, it doesn't even say Nicholas Backstrom. Uh, maybe that's his uh, name in Swedish. But, uh, yeah. Nice SP chirography of Nicholas Backstrom. Alright, next package. All right, luckily, I can just rip right through these. Oh, this one's easy. This is going right to my... Um, this is a little PC I'm going to start building. I actually bought another one of this. I'm expecting probably a week or two from now. 
But um, this is a rookie parade autograph from 1617 Parkers of Jason Dickinson. Um, these are really nice cards, and I said, hey, why not pick up another one? Very nice cards. Happy with this one. Got it for really cheap. But I just got a, another leaf. Oh, this one's covered. Okay, scissors have to come up for this one. This one's like surrounded in tape. Okay, there we go. I make sure I won't miss any down there too. And this one's very questionable. <laughs> very questionable. Is this uh, OPG Platinum? By the way, stay tuned for OPG Platinum. It came out today. I'm kind of disappointed I couldn't cover it today, but Friday for sure I'll be getting some OPG Platinum. But this is from 1415, the first year of OPG Platinum. It's a OPG uh, Platinum, obviously. Um, black. What's it called? Oh, it doesn't say like 1516, but it's like a black rainbow or black ice, something like that, of um, Seth Griffith, who is playing for the Toronto Marlies. He was on the Panthers, or he got waived and claimed by the Panthers, and got waived by, and claimed back by the Leafs. Um, he's an NHL caliber player playing in the American League. So, yeah. Seth Griffith. Okay, make sure I don't miss any. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got two here for sure, more. Oh, wait. Let me count these quickly just to make sure. I should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and there we go. There's seven. Okay, let's open this one up. Well, thank you for your purchase. We'll see what. All right, well, let's see if we have a bunch of. Fin oh, yeah. Here's a really cheap purchase. Um, another team bag, nicely packaged. Um, it's a sign of the times of Marty Turco from 1560 SP Athletic. Um, definitely, uh, just like sign of the times. I like card sign autos if you can't tell that already. But, um, yeah. Another sign of the times. Another SP I love SP Athletic. You can tell I got a couple in the background there. Sorry about that. And the final package. Which I moved over here and I didn't even realize. Okay. Also, I kind of adjusted the lighting a bit. Let me know what you think. Okay, this card's really cool. Um, where did I put the damn scissors? Okay, here we go. Man, it seems like I do these videos when I'm sleep deprived. It really does. Oh well. Okay. Here's the gem of the lot. It's a 1112. I had to recheck that. SP Authentic. Sign of the Times triple of Alexander Ovechkin, Nicholas Backstrom, once again, and John Carlson, numbered 23 of 25. This is a very nice card. Um, Washington Capitals, obviously. Um, I think it's a. Make or, well, not really make or break, but their window to win is within the next year or two. Um, I see them actually contending, so um, come playoff time, this is a nice card to have. But yeah, guys, um, stay tuned for OPG Platinum. I'm sorry I couldn't cover it today, but um, got some mail day. Uh, yeah, that sign of the times is pretty awesome. But yeah, guys, um, be sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.